in this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show, Dylan mumbles. Uh, ben mumbles. It's not that very neat. And Jules breaks the rules. I'm actually breaking our rules. All this and more when the Bourbon Guild review Smoke Wagon, 10 year old bourbon. Ben, if you mention MCU, I will kick you in the neck. of the Bourbon Guild Review Show. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. I'm Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield. All right, guys. Smoke wagon. S- smoke them if you got them. Wagon. I was going to call it Smoke House. <laughs> yeah. Smoke House wagon. But it's Smoke Wagon. This is their uh, Jewel uh, Desert Jewel Reserve, hmm. aged 10 years. Wow. 10? A 10-year-old wow. bourbon. Nice. I mean, like it used to feel like 10 years is nothing. Eagle Rare. This looks like an Eagle Rare bottle, mm-hmm. but uh, you can't see the color of the juice, so I'm suspicious immediately because it's not a clear bottle. But I mean, a lot of ornate design on this. It's got like a blue motif. It's got like a little wax. Yeah. It's embedded. I like yeah. It. Wax inlay. Yeah, I actually cool. like that. Yeah. I, give him, I give him points on this. Yeah. Um, what do we know about Smoke Wagon? It, I mean, it says Las Vegas. Yep. Um, we like Las Vegas. Um, it says it's aged 10 years. And then you turn it to the back. And you see all this wonderful stuff about it's produced, aged, and bottled by this Nevada HNC Distilling Company. And then at the bottom it says distilled in Indiana. <laughs> Alarm bells go off and you say, oh, that's MGP yeah. bourbon. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Nothing, nothing wrong. wrong with nothing that. Nothing wrong with that at all. You don't need to necessarily hide it on the back in tiny, tiny <laughs> writing, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Well, um, Mic Drop really owns, we've talked about how Mic Drop really owns the fact that they distill from MGP. And I like that. So, I agree. Yeah. Um, oh, so, Old Scout. Or Old Scout. Yeah, mm-hmm. the bottle says it's a straight bourbon whiskey. A total mm-hmm. of 35 barrels were hand-selected from the fourth floor to create a rare and limited release. I mean, we know it's 10 years old. It comes at us at 104 proof. That is 90, 90, 52% alcohol by volume. I don't know anything else about this. I know that <laughs> when we were in Vegas last time, we tried one of the smoke wagon, wagon releases. I don't remember if it was the ten year or their. It was either the, the, it was either the uncut, unfiltered, or the ten year, and I think it was the ten year. Okay. Yeah. Well, we tried one of them, and I'll try to kind of ignore no, that. We had the ten. For this review, they okay. had both. They yeah. Had both. Yeah. yeah. But I'll crack it open, Dylan. You got anything else on this? Yeah. So this info, is huh? uh, this is Nevada H and C Distilling Company um, in Nevada. Uh, I guess they were going for this like Wild West theme. That that's what they wanted to. Well, invoke. there's guns on it. Yeah, they wanted to invoke that kind of uh, exactly that kind of uh, flavor. So um, it's ten year. Ooh. It's MGP. Uh, you know the reason why I think a lot of people got excited was because it won a bunch of awards at a spirits competition. Wow, but okay. we were, all... were we judging it? No. <laughs> then who cares? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm sure it's like double or triple gold. Or... And for that, we'll never get invited to yeah, a competition. Yeah, yeah. Twenty gold or whatever. So okay. however many gold. I have to say, um, do we know anything about the name? Because quite honestly, the only time I've ever heard or referenced any reference to, or like heard or read any reference to Smoke Wagon is the line Kurt Russell has in Tombstone where he's talking about skin that smoke wagon and see what happens, which is like draw on him and they'll shoot it out, which referring to, I guess, his Colt Peacemaker uh, revolver. But I've never heard any other reference or or literary uh, call to Smoke Wagon other than that. So, pretty interesting name. I wish we had more uh, more details on that. And I kind of tuned you out. Sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what the name is from. <laughs> well, I was. Uh, why don't we get our scoring criteria from Jules? <laughs> He can talk. I don't think Jules can talk anymore. Get in passion, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not saying anything else until it's time to. Review. I'm your Huckleberry. Yes. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, in the, the Bourbon Guild, we do have a ten point grading system. We give uh, two points for the aroma or the nose, three points for its complexity, two points for its drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and a bonus point for value. So for us, we. Typically defined value as its availability and price. Which, sorry if I missed this, what is the price? 100 bucks. 100 bucks. And what do we pay? 
100 bucks. bucks. Oh. Yeah. So pricey bourbon. Yeah. I mean, ten year old. Really bourbon. expensive. You're paying ten dollars for every year it's been aged. That's yeah, really yeah. expensive. Yeah. I mean, this is much more than Eagle Rare. Oh. Yeah. Or McKenna. It's ridiculous. Uh, this does not taste like it's 104 proof. I'll just throw that out there. Why don't you write down your scores, and then we'll talk. <laughs> I, I heard a buzzing sound. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> I'm going to punch you in the... <laughs> huh. I'm giving it a second go. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You should. Because I'm on a first go, and I'm already kind of... Mm, mm, mm. I'm ready to talk about it. Ready to talk about it. You guys ready to talk? Yeah. yeah. I mean. All right, Ben, since you were ready to talk about it. Seven. Wow. Dylan. Wow. Give it a four. What? Wow. Jules. 5.5. 5. Wow. And I give it a six. Wow. I don't know what it is, man. I, I'm just, I'm dying here. Something, something's, something's off. Something's off yeah. with the uh, finish. Well, let's kick it off with the aroma. I didn't think the yeah. aroma was bad. I gave it a 1.5. I, I gave it a 1.5. Got a nice, like, light cherry kind of yeah. nose to it. Like, some good sweetness on that. Yeah, I don't know what's definitely. going on. Like, I'm in a good vein yeah, of form here with my nose, but, yeah. like, 1.5 for me? One. I get Middle a of the road. Middle of the road. Ben? 1.5. Nothing, nothing interesting. Nothing, nothing interesting. exciting. There's, exactly. there's a nothing good not bad. No? Yeah, it's, it's not there's bad. Not there's there's, not, there's, there's a little bit of spice. There's, there, there's an no, ethanol on top, but I think what's there is So what was unique about it? I mean, like in terms of the aroma. Well, I didn't get the uniqueness. No, yet. but aroma in terms of aroma. Like what, 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 what? You're you're basically saying if you're saying one point five, right? You're comp it's it's a relative score to all the other ones that. No, you it's made. not. No, it is. <laughs> it's not middle of the road. Not it's not perfect. At all. It's yeah, in the middle. It's like whatever. There's pleasing notes. There's there's uh, a no, I, familiarity. I thought there. it was it's a very good. nice nose. It was yeah, very I got nice. Very nose. clear fruit flavors Spice, on the nose that I don't sweet, really get. Caramel richness. And uh, yeah, it was what. Well, and yeah, there is some overpowering. It's not perfect, uh, but it's a little. It's a little muddled, but it was pleasing. Yeah, I mean that's this it's is above probably average. this is probably the best kind of component of this I, bourbon. I agree. Actually, I agree. Yeah. Did you score it as the best component of this bourbon? It kind of feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's move on to the next category: right. complexity. Um, this was very middle of the road for me. Yes. Really? 1.5. Yeah. Yep. 1.5. Uh, I gave it a 1. I gave okay, it a 1. Lower. Ben? Yeah. I gave it a 2. Wow. Wow. Well, that's, um, I mean, I just, this almost feels like a paint by number bourbons. I, on the, on the palate. Like, it's just kind of like, well, you need a little bit of this, you need a little bit of this, you need a little bit of this, you need a little bit of this. But I, I'm thinking to myself, well, I can get all that from Woodford. Yeah. They're all loud. No, what, what, what annoys me is like, why am I paying hundred for this? Yeah, totally agree. Why am I paying hundred for this? Totally I don't agree. understand. Like the complexity is really underwhelming. Yeah, it's it's either very muted or it's completely very missing. Plain. It's very plain. To me. Yeah, I don't I, I don't see what the what the what the I mean I don't I, I would not let's call get, it plain. Let's get, no, let's, let's get uh, Jules in here real quick. No, no, same. That was actually middle of the road, and that's why though it's <clears> it's one of those where it's it's hitting a lot of very familiar flavors, uh, things like that, but nothing really stood out. You know, and nothing really also. Heard it either. Pops. No, no, middle you of the road. I mean? but, middle yeah. of the road is like a standard yeah. Woodford yeah. or a standard, a standard no, like Woodford's small batch. Not middle of the road. You know, four roses, kind of an average bottle, yellow label, let's say. Mm -hmm. This is not, I, and there's this weird yeah, harshness. This is, this is this is on par with that stuff. I, I don't think so. I think I think really? it. Worse? I think it falls. I think it's a strong one, and it could maybe that's get harsh. to a weak one point five. Harsh. But I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Ben, what you, you gave it a two. You gave it the highest. I gave it a two because we're we're going. This is a, out of three. I don't think this is middle <laughs> of the road. I don't think this is average. I think there's some pleasing notes. I think there's a good sweetness, hmm. and I have not heard. And I usually I'll agree with one of y'all, mm -hmm. or there will be something that I'll pick out. And what I have not heard anybody say is like there is a full bodied component of flavor to this that I really enjoy. The finish, I agree with you. There's a little spice, or there's a little like it gets a little messy on the finish. But the the initial and and middle bite and the mouth feel of it, why when drinking it in the complexity mm -hmm. and nuance and, and and really teasing out the flavors. Mm -hmm. It's better than average. I, I agree with you that there's some muddling. It's and, and and there is a bit of a lot of spice for me. I don't think it's better than a two, but I don't think it's middle. When you start talking. You start talking about the finish. Why don't you segue us into, into drinkability? I gave it a one point five out of two because there's a component wow. that I'm not. I there's a harshness to it that 
I would expect a more soft from a ten year. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna call you guys out on this. Okay, so call you guys us out. tried this. Here's a phone. You guys tried this at a Vegas bar. Yeah, I remember you guys tried it. I tried it there. Uh-huh. Are you guys looking for it since then? Are you are you thinking about, about it? it? Are you thinking yeah. about it? Are you saying, oh, you know what? I really want to. You know what? In the next month or so, I am definitely going to have another glass of this. I'm calling BS on this. <laughs> I have never. I, you will not reach for this. I swear to you, no. you will not reach but for this. There are, there's plenty of other things. I a would... seven? Come on. Give me a break. He'll grab He'll grab the Jim Beam six, White. Dude. He'll give the dream, Jim Beam White first. No. Okay, well, let me tell you what. I, I would pick cut. this over something like an Evan Williams bottle of bond. I, I would. I think it's a little bit a little bit more drinkable. Yeah, 15, bu- 15 bucks, right? I mean... Well, I, I'm just I grading just, it on drinkability. I'm not grading yeah, it on... No, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not... not in the abstract, so, so let me, let me, let let me be abstract. This okay, let me be different. concrete about my my disappointment. So here's the deal: it's still, Tell us how you really it's an <laughs> overwhelming harshness. Yeah. I don't. Get I, that. That's the theme here. Yeah, it's, I don't get it's, that. it's it's the harshness that I, I don't it. know what this is. It is it really just kind of muddling and overwhelming the flavors I'm trying to get. I am I'm like choking on some of this. Wow. So I'm choking on something. Let's I move agree- on to uniqueness, guys. No, wait, hold on. I agree. I want to. I want to talk about it because I agree with them to a point. I'm not changing my score, but I've got about three bottles at home that I reach for daily. <laughs> oh, this? Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Another, three another, separate, okay. three different say, bottles but, but, that I will reach for as daily Jimmy drinkers. White. No, Waller Special Reserve. Nope. Jimmy Black. Hancock. Nope. <laughs> Just those. Nope. Good. Okay, so I'm missing everything. I don't know. What I'm yep, you are. Trader Joe. Repeal batch. Jim Beam. Nope. None of it, none of you all are correct. Anyway, but I agree with them. I probably so wouldn't wait, reach for this. So what are the three that you reach for? Old Ezra, Good Seven, uh, Evan Wynn Single Barrel, and Elmer T. Lee, which is as of lately because I was able to get a bottle. Anyway, wow. as I was saying, um, I agree with them. I may not reach for this ever again. Like... <laughs> I might, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm being But you honest. know what? Drinkability, 1.5. No, but there is a drinkable component to this, but no, I, I agree we have that. a lot of bourbons in our library that, you know, like, hey, we'll all try different things. And yeah, I'll have a pour of this yeah, probably. Be like, yeah, let's we'll see how it is. Off. Maybe it's opened up. Okay. But I'm not going to sit here and like reach for this there's like, oh my God, this is amazing. I promise, I promise to our viewers. It's not off-putting, but it's not amazing. I agree with you. I yeah, promise to our viewers, if we ever have a party, I'm going to film these guys <laughs> and see what they reach for. If, if I'm going to put this out. If they don't reach for this, you gotta call them out. I just hey, called out. I agreed with you. How dare you? All right, guys. Next, right. next Ooh. category: uniqueness. Oh. Um, I, I mean, again, I just stand by. This is it just feels like paint by numbers bourbon. It's a one point five. I give it a little bit for coming out of Nevada, <laughs> but not much. Wow, I gave it a two. I give it a one. I give it a two. I give it a one. I give so it we a got two. wait. We got one point five, two, one, and two. All right. Wow. I think there's a story. I like I guess that. We're gonna go I like that next. <laughs> Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I'm tired of your face. <laughs> All right, moving on. Doesn't matter. L- listen, so, so, let's go to value. Back to the door in conversation anyway. Whatever. No, I, I just to recap, like kind of what I think we all have summed up. Uh, some of us think it's not their very unique. It's not their very unique. It's not their very unique. It's not their very some of us acknowledge it's a Las Vegas distiller trying to bring something to market. That's where I got my two. I think it's a cool bottle. And I think the, the, wa- the wax seal is neat. Yeah. Um, There's no wax seal. It's just a right wax on the stamp. front dip. That's not a seal. Stamp. It's a well, wax. stamp. Whatever. Anyway. Shut up. Seals have to go over the top. You're a or seal. Bark. You're a bark. <laughs> anyway. The bottle gets points. I, okay, I, that's I, where I got a two. I like the motif. I like the blue yeah, motif. The bottle gets points. All right. I don't like that it's... Okay. Seen. Darkened, but yeah. Um, okay, so Jules, you also give it a two. What, yeah, what made yeah. this stand out from the back for you? Dude, I give it a full point just on the marketing side. Just the, the a full point. Yeah, full wow. point just for that. I'm actually breaking our rules. And, wow, uh, <laughs> we have no rules. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that's why. And that's rules. and that's why it's just like yeah. I mean, great. Everything Ben was talking about too. Like you know, I love that wax stamp on there. The bottle's cool. The bottle design is cool. I do yeah. wish it was clear. I mean, that'd be awesome. Actually, oh, if it was clear, I mean, this, imagine the with like the embossing on it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, I mean, it's, like, they should be proud of yeah. it. Yeah, you yeah, know, like, it should stand out more. But um, yeah, and that's why. So just you know. All right, Dylan, you you you're at the bottom here. Yeah, why just a one. I I think this is a kind of a another example of a micro distilling type of uh, represent like you know presentation. Ten years old. Yeah, but I mean I'm it's an MGP. It's an MGP. They put it in a barrel for ten years, and then they, I mean they they try to sell it, but it's not. It's just really not. 
nothing unique about it. You know, they just kind of get the... I, I think I think it... Well, I don't know, but I think it's just... It's not like Old Scout where I think they get creme de la creme bar, uh, barrels and that's like really unique in itself. I think it's just... Look, let's get what we can from MGP and let's just put it in barrels and that's a let's just harsh, let's just see what think? see what we can do in ten years. I swear to you, I think that's what it is. I I think my score will be justified. I think right. I think Well let's get to our final category, our bonus category for value. This is a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's no, settled. it's out there, Ten but I give it a zero. Proof, zero. Yeah, zero. zero. I mean, are you oh, kidding so me? finally some unanimity guys? Yeah. 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 Honestly, I have to say this would probably be a different. We would have a different conversation if this was a fifty-five dollar bourbon. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Wait, wait. So let me say, if, I it, was a, if it was a thirty dollar bourbon, I W yes. Harper, I W Harper, $30. fifteen years, fifty, like fifty five. That's what I'm saying. Thirty dollars. At thirty dollars, yeah. I start talking about this. Maybe. Like, you know what? Yeah. All right, okay. You know what? Okay. Maybe there's something here. I think yeah. maybe I'm just you know I'm just shocked and blown away that this is a hundred dollars. Yeah, I agree. And and you know I it's expect something for a hundred dollars. I agree. This does not deliver for hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Beware is thirty. Period. Bucks. I'm enjoying some of the bucks. flavors that I'm getting from this. Um, Whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Wow. Let's get yeah. our final. I mean, more. I will try the others. Yeah. I will try. I'm we'll try. Let's but get our let's get our final tally though. Ben. Seven. Dylan. Yeah, four solid. <laughs> Jules. Five point five. And I had a six. For once, I'm not the most controversial. Our I honestly think a is, six and a seven are ridiculous. probably decent. Bourbon Guild review what do we score for Smoke Wagon 10-year-old bourbon. Let's hear it. This is their creme de la creme. Yeah, remember? this is their this is their premier line. 5.625. All right. Okay. Well, above average. Above average. I think that's what we can say about yeah. this. All right. I don't think Dylan can say that. No, no, no. I, I, just, I, just, I just want to see you guys drink this in the next 12, 12 months. I'm going to drink like it this, out the of scores spite that you gave, in the next The scores months. that give us, just I want to, you, you better be drinking this. You better drink I'm this. going to. I'm going to smoke that leg and just stand yeah. there and bleed. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be over here <laughs> drinking like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> William Heaven Hill. And then well, here, Dylan's Jim gonna Beam stand White there and, and, <laughs> exactly. and smoke wagon. <laughs> All right, guys. Jules, hey. take us out. Well, you guys tell us what you think in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> Dylan, you, please let us know if you think Dylan's off his rocker. And, or if he's on his rocker. Or if he's on his rocker. He's on something. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, our website. Tip your bartenders because in the Old West, those are the guys that usually end up getting shot when the smoke wagons come out. So <laughs> I don't know what that means. Bourbon Guild, out. Man, this is this is upsetting, man. This is I feel like I get ripped off. Well played. What? You didn't even pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how bad it is. <laughs> you had to drink it. Yeah, that's how bad it is. <laughs>